I just got done with my first chemo. It was like almost like five hours. It was the TC, which is two drugs. I'll post the link down below of the names of them. So far, I have a little bit of nausea and dry mouth really bad. So I'm like sucking on a lot of candies to help with that. I do have medicine that they've given me for later. steroids I had to take yesterday, today, two times, and then I'll have to take it tomorrow. And tomorrow I also have to get a shot. Um, the shot is going to help me get my white blood cell count up so I don't get sick. Because we are in the winter months. So if I feel like this the whole time until the next three weeks when I have to get another one, I'll be fine. I want to feel okay because we're in December, which is my favorite month of Christmas, and I want to do a lot of stuff with my kids. I usually do like baking and taking them to see Santa. Mm -hmm. They had a lot, a lot of stuff there, like protein shakes. I guess um, eating protein or the shakes will help you get your energy back up because this will make you tired. They had coffee available, water, they had a fridge, microwave, if you want to bring food, stuff like that. This was at my location, your location might be different. I know like some places have TVs, um, my place did not have a TV, but we did bring a laptop. So we could just, um, we got a splitter because I came with my husband. So we got a splitter so we could watch some things on the laptop. They did have like Wi-Fi available for us. I did bring crushed ice because I was reading and in my support group a lot of girls were telling me they um, chew on the crushed ice while they were giving you the medicine so you wouldn't get the sores in your mouth or in your throat. <laughs> they kind of worked for me. I don't have any sores yet but my ice melted. So I got like a big chunk of ice that didn't work. I'll have to find a different way the next time we go. Mm. I did take a magazine, but it kind of went faster than I thought in between them giving me the different medicines. Because first, when you get there, they, um, well, usually they'll take your blood first. I had mine taken yesterday because I had chemo class yesterday. And they took my labs yesterday and went over them with me to start today. But next time I go, they will do blood work first. Then I'll see my doctor and she'll tell me, oh, you're okay to go. Your blood works, looks okay. And then you do your chemo. But before they administer your chemo drugs, they give you medicine to help with the side effects. Like nausea and all the other fun stuff. And when I got my first meds before the chemo, it was starting to burn because two of them go in like the IV bag and directly to my IV. And the other one they had to like push through, like with a syringe, and then it started burning. And they told me right away, like if I felt anything. So if you feel anything like burning, they said, or like a tickle in your throat or anything like that let them know right away so it was like a little bit and then it got like more intense so then I let them know and then they finally decided just to change my IV and it went away I didn't have it again in the next spot because they started my IV again and I didn't have the tingling anymore and they also told me with the chemo medicine it can leave like a streak like up my arm and hopefully I don't get it, but it's nothing to be like alarmed about it because like they know it can happen. And she said it will go away after I'm all done with this. It's a plus. So I'm supposed to eat like light bland foods to help with the nausea. I did buy like Gatorade, applesauce to help with hopefully the side effects if I have any. 
hopefully I don't since right now I do feel okay nothing too bad I'm planning on cutting my hair probably next few days here because <clears throat> with this chemo drug I will lose my hair I've never had short short hair I've had short but not that short so it's gonna be like a big change for me so I was dreading this part and trying to hold off for as long as possible but everyone's been telling me and it does make sense to cut it see how long my hair is and if I just got it cut so it's even longer than this it does make sense to cut it shorter so when it does fall out and then you decide to shave your head you won't feel as bad because a lot of people say you get tingling or itching or your head will hurt and that's when well the cells like in your scalp are starting to die your, your hair will come out like in clumps and from what I've seen it's like you have like a receding hairline or it'll fall out, like in clumps in between or you'll be doing your hair and it'll come out in the comb so later I'll do like a video maybe like in a week <clears throat> to tell you how I've been feeling so far and how things going I'll post links down below or write what medicines I'm on, stuff like that. But so far, I feel pretty good. Um, they said I wouldn't feel like a drop like in my energy until maybe like the second or third day because I've been taking I take the steroids the day before, the day of chemo, and the day after. So by the third day. In the evening she said you might because it's gonna be like okay the steroids are making you like hyper and you can't sleep and then bam it hits you and then you're gonna be really fatigued and you're gonna have good days bad days and hopefully by the third week feel back to normal so comment below with any questions you have or if you have any tips for me if you've already gone through this process that would be greatly appreciated and I did make I want to make these videos because I do have three children that are 18 months six and eight two of them are girls and you never know what could happen later in the future like if I'm here or not um, or if they get it you know or for any other person that's going through this that looking for information because that's what I was doing was looking for information you know just to get me used to the idea and be prepared so I am trying to be positive um, how I am right now is how I've been for the most part I've had a few moments yeah done my pity party but usually by myself because it does affect the people around you um, Especially my son, I think he's taking it the hardest. My husband hasn't shown me very much. Like, I'm sure he's taking it hard, but he's holding it all in. Um, so if you're being positive, it'll make the people around you feel positive. Like, I am sad <laughs> that I'm going to lose my hair. But it will grow back. You know, there are worse, thing, worse things in life, like losing limbs, you know, that will be debilitating for the rest of your life than hair. You know, but as a girl, I'm like, ah, my hair. <laughs> um, what else? I think that's pretty much it about my hair. And I also... I was having problems with my insurance because of my age and needing more paperwork. They took forever to get my onco type score back. And I'll explain that like in another video when I tell you. They'll say all about my story of like my cancer. Um, they took forever to get that back. So by the time you get diagnosed, I believe it's 12 weeks you have to start chemo. I had my surgery in I had my surgery 
in October. And I got diagnosed. Well, the first time I got diagnosed was, this is 2017. I keep putting the camera back in my face because I'm holding it out because so I'm driving. Um, I got diagnosed September 11th, so it's like always going to be in my head. Like September 11th, such a big day. Um, then I had my surgery on October 2nd. And it's 12 weeks that you, they have to like start the chemo. Well, mine was approved just last week, which was, uh, let's see, starting end of November, December. So it was like in the week of the 20th. I don't remember exactly the date, but I had the choice <clears throat> of going to a fertility specialist to get my eggs frozen. Um, so if later if I want to have babies, because I am 28, and I do have three children, which I'm so happy for them. Um, you know, like, right now at this moment that I want another baby, but just like somebody telling you, well, your chances are very low, and you're going to have another baby, it, do it does hurt. Well, for me, it does. But I was blessed with three children, and I'm okay now, because if I were to go to the fertility fertility specialist I'd have to wait like three more weeks to start treatment and I was like no let's just get it done and over with and as soon as possible just in case there was something still there you know I don't want to risk it excuse me I don't want to risk it you know why am I going to risk going three weeks out you know instead of starting sooner the, the whole point of doing this is so it doesn't come back and I've done I'm doing everything I can so maybe you're gonna have that choice something you want to talk with your partner or if you don't have a partner think about it um, and I hope you don't have problems with your insurance or anything like that so later I will post maybe in a week or in a few days like if I'm feeling any different or anything like that or if you have any questions just post them or tips for me for next time that I go because I will have four rounds one every three weeks um, so yay one down three to go